when you think about Paru, which he said is not a part of the Bloods, but and then you have the Crips. When you see the different cliques or the different gangs, they're total opposites. They're usually rivals. They're not usually people that are together, doing things together. But you, you are breaking that mode. How can you do that without the younger people looking at you like you're betraying us? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. I, one thing I've been very, very curious about, because y'all are from two different walks of life, two different sides, I should say, but you are both campaigning together. Because when you think about Paru, which you say is not a part of the Bloods, but and then you have the Crips. When you see the different cliques or the different gangs, they're total opposites. They're usually rivals. They're not usually people that are together, doing things together. But you, you are breaking that mode. How can you do that without the younger people looking at you like you're betraying us? But it's, it's not a betrayal when we're in a position that we understand we got more in common than we got apart. Me and Melvin have been through too much on our own size. Mm -hmm. and we got people in Pyrus that don't like me, mm -hmm. Pyrus that hate me, mm -hmm. but we keep striving. So when you understand, now all my homies like him, you know what I'm saying? It won't be no debate, man. Where that old nigga more? <laughs> <laughs> and then I I got I go to low rider meetings and this, and I got Crips that walk over. Um, oh gee, I like your interview. Uh, so we're bridging a gap that as black grown men, these youngsters are seeing like them. I got more Crips that come to me and embrace me in LA than I have Pyrus and Bloods. Wow. wow. A lot of my own people be holding their nuts like I ain't never <laughs> said nothing. Wow. Oh, that's just more, man. <laughs> you know. That's but crazy. I see other dudes that don't know me from 60s, from 8 Trey, from that, hey, hey, I told a man, I seen your, I mean, I don't even know where these people come from. <laughs> where, where did we grow up from? And like, man, no, I seen you, you, you and Big Melvin do this and do that. And it's, it's a testimony that, man, that you didn't reach these dudes, mm -hmm. these real dudes that's in the street. Mm -hmm. We don't walk with bodyguards. We don't walk with a, we don't be in the, we, I, we be in the hood every day. Mm -hmm. I roll the streets solo bolo. Because when it's, when it's my turn, they say your arms are too sharp to box with God. Mm -hmm. I believe in that. Can't nothing happen to me until he say so. No, that's, that's real. Um, and is it the same for you as well? Uh, well, when it comes to me and my relationship, uh, a lot of guys, the younger ones, because they come in crip on crip, blood on blood, right. so it ain't that hard to phantom a crip in the blood because of how the allies and the uh, structures are being made the way you have uh, 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 interactions among others that wouldn't otherwise talk. But in reality, this creates the opportunity to where they side, uh, and it creates uh, where we can create dialogue amongst foreign factions. Right. And also, this is where money doesn't count in the streets. You've seen so many people get count, uh, taken out in the streets. It's where you uh, respect your responsibilities, uh, where we get that respect because we played the game within the rules of which the game is played. Mm -hmm. we, our names is solid. Uh, uh, we never uh, faltered, never did nothing scandalous. I never had a, 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 a scar, a gunshot wound, stabs, none of that. And it's because of the way we move. So at the end of the day, a lot of kids look up to us because not only have we lived this life, we've changed our life. And if we can do it, then quite naturally, well, you should be able to do that's it. That's true. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.